Hello, welcome back to Easy and Delicious with Mariana. Tonight I am very excited to share with you this delicious, fresh, homemade guacamole. El Cinco de Mayo is around the corner and this recipe, if you are going to celebrate at your house and you have guests, this will be a wonderful addition to your menu. So, my ingredients are five ripe avocados, I have half teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt. I have one fresh squeezed lime. I have one big clove of garlic minced. I have one third of a cup of freshly chopped red onion. And if you like some heat, we like it in this house, uh, you can add couple of dashes of your favorite uh, hot sauce. Can be Tabasco. In this case, we like it. We like this one right here. Frank's Red Hot Originals. So that's what we're going to use tonight. Before I start my recipe, I want to talk about a little bit avocados. So sometimes when I go to the grocery store to get the avocados, they're very hard. That means they're not ripe, they're not ready. But you can still buy them and you can keep them in your house or your counter for a couple of days and they will get soft. Now, you don't have to let them get super soft because then they will get rotten and then you can use them anymore. But a couple of days after, you can touch and they feel soft, but a little firm. And then that's when you know they're ready. So the way to cut avocados, you get a sharp knife, being very careful, don't cut yourself. Just go around like this, and then we open the avocado. Look how beautiful it is. It's ripe, very nice color. And now the pit, we have to remove the pit. Get a sharp knife, this is how I do it. Just be very careful, don't cut yourself. And just put it there, twist it a little bit, and the pit will be out. Now we're going to remove the flesh with a spoon. So I have here my five, five avocados already smashed because we're going to smash them. And then after you cut them and remove the pit, you're going to remove the flesh. You take a spoon and go all around the avocado and there it goes. And once again, so avocados are delicious they are very nutritious they contain lots of fiber lots of vitamins vitamin b's vitamin k potassium copper vitamin e i mean they're wonderful super healthy so once you have your avocados peel uh, cut and the pit is out you smash them this is my favorite smasher so i'm sorry if my camera moves a little bit it's okay if you leave a little bit of chunks because it's nice to bite into something uh, with texture. All right. Now, since avocados turn uh, brown or oxidate pretty fast, we're going to add immediately the lime juice. Remember, it's one fresh squeezed lime juice. We're going to add one third cup, cup of um, minced red onion. We're gonna add one clove or min minced garlic. And my spices, half teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt. And like I say, if you like heat, we like it. So a couple of dashes of your favorite hot sauce. And we're just going to mix everything really, really well. Mmm, smells really good. Now, this recipe, you can use it El Cinco de Mayo, but also any lunch, any sandwich, as a salad. So, you mix it really, really well. And then, yeah, put it in the fridge right before you serve. For five minutes or so so all the ingredients get together and share all those flavors 
and then you serve it in a beautiful bowl and it's ready to enjoy. All right, one more wonderful recipe, easy and delicious with Mariana. I hope you really enjoy it. Try it, it's healthy, flavorful, delicious. So I hope to see you soon again and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.